Hi, I'm Keely, also known as Kelly. And I'm Feely, also known as Alex. Welcome to our corner of the Shire, where we will show you how to bring Middle Earth into your daily life to keep you a happy, happy hobbit. hobbit. Welcome to this episode of Happy Hobbit. Today, we are going to show you some last-minute gift ideas for those hobbit dwarves and elves in your life. And humans. Yeah, men. And humans, you know, men and, and women, you know. Yeah, but the capital men, it covers... Yeah, that's true, it covers all like the different the types of humans. Of true, true. So, uh, my first um, thing I'm going to show you is a very, very, very last-minute gift idea <laughs> that may or may not be an instant gift! Instant gift! and may or may not have been written by this woman here. Yeah, Darkling is available as an ebook and as an audiobook. Sir Richard Taylor, five-time Oscar winner and head of Weta Workshop, love this book. And not only that, but the cover art of this book and the wonderful companion piece that has recently been released are both done by the very talented Lindsay Crummett who did concept art on The Hobbit and the covers they're just they're just beautiful folks they're just beautiful and these gifts are very instant you could you could give them to anyone anywhere whether they're in Mortar whether they're in Bree whether they're even probably in the Barrow Downs if they have Wi-Fi because you know ebook and ebooks and audiobook Great instant gifts. Instant. Instant! And this is a really nice calendar that you can give a little gift to yourself or to somebody else if they need, you know, to know what day it is. Because that can be helpful. And also know it while there's some very beautiful photos taken by Keeley in Dingle, Ireland, which is a really pretty place. They're really pretty pictures. I love them. Gee, thanks, Feely. I hadn't heard about those great deals before. You know, you can you can get them all off of Amazon, uh, except for the calendar. And if you want a, you know, autographed book, personally inscribed, then buy it off my Etsy shop. I'll put the link right there. But now, without further ado, let's get to some things you can put your hands on and make yourself. Yeah. I've got elf ears on, you can't really see them. They're like above your real ears, so you've got four ears. Yeah! The first quick and easy gift I'm going to show you isn't actually quick, but it is easy. Because of the length it takes for you to wait for the fruits of your labors, I do recommend it for the elves in your life. Now, a lot of you I know like to watch our show because we show recipes and how to bake things. But what I'll bet you didn't know is that you can make some of your own ingredients for those baked goods, like homemade vanilla. And it's a lot easier than you may think. Or so I've read, like almost everything on Happy Hobbit, I've only read about it and this is my first time trying it, but that's okay because if I mess up in a certain way, then you guys probably won't do it in that way, I hope. You'll do it in a different way, then you'll write to us and tell us, and then we'll all learn vicariously and not mess up at all. We'll be perfect. Do you want to be perfect? <laughs> Just kidding, we're all, we're all not Santa Claus. Santa Claus is perfect. So, actually he's not. He puts people on the naughty list. Who is he to make those judgments? That's anyway. a rumor. That's a stupid judgmental rumor about Santa. What does Tolkien say about Santa it? Santa is all like... In his, Santa has his, I mean, Tolkien has his letters from St. Nicholas to his kids. We have the book. I haven't finished reading it all. That's really cool. Yeah, I got it for us in New Zealand. No one else seems to care except me. So anyway, this is an excellent gift idea for you to give to someone who likes do-it-yourself projects, because all you would need to give them is about seven vanilla beans, don't laugh at me feeling, a bottle that seals properly, like these Easy Top bottles. And some vodka. Now, you could just give them all of these items and make them guess at what they're going to do with their gift, or you could be nice and give them instructions, or even better, you could send them a link to this video. Um, or you could prepare it yourself and give it to them and tell them that, that, that this is why it's good for an elf. They have to wait at least eight weeks before they can use it. So to make homemade vanilla, you start with vanilla beans. If you didn't know, this is what vanilla looks like. These are the beans from the vanilla plant. This is Tahitian vanilla. They smell 
delicious. I think they smell divine. Feely smelled them and said they smelled like rotting wood. She's an idiot. Old wood! The first thing you do is split them open. These are really kind of shriveled because they are old. I meant to do this episode of Happy Hobbit like two years ago, but you know. <laughs> you, know how, you know how time works? All of a sudden you're in New Zealand, then you're back, and then you're in another country, and you're trying to do your own thing, your own career, and uh... You know what, let's see if I can even cut this. Yes, I can. I remember getting these and they were hard. Okay, so you start off... Yeah, this is a difficult thing to do, and I hope I don't kill my cut off my fingers. I probably won't kill myself, though. If you do, it's on two. Okay, so the first thing you do is you slit the beans in half. This is... This is to expose the vanilla seeds inside. Okay, well, that's alright. That can happen. So, inside... Let me put some on my finger. Okay, so you zoom in on my finger. Do you see those little black specks? That's not dirt, those are actually vanilla seeds, which is where all the flavor is contained, or the majority of the flavor. So when you bake with, or cook with, vanilla beans like this, usually what you're doing is just scraping out the innards and leaving the rest behind, which I've done before. It can make some really delicious recipes. Um, but in this one, we're putting the whole thing in. So you don't have to film me cut every single bead. I mean bean. And in the jar. As you can see here, I've opened up one of the beans to show you all the millions or thousands, whatever, of little vanilla bean seeds inside. And that's where the flavor is. So as I cut these open, you see it's all over me, I kind of pried them open to make sure the vanilla beans were exposed. All right, now all that's left is to coat these beans in vodka. Now, I think other alcohols work. This one's good because it's clear. And also I know vanilla beans are quite expensive, so I thought I'd let you know. I got these off of a website called Beanilla. B-E-A-N-I-L-L-A. -E and they had a fair price on vanilla beans. I think it was only like a dollar a bean or something. Which if you've ever bought vanilla, bean vanilla beans before, you know they're expensive. Okay. like a piece of modern art. <laughs> this is elven art. True. All right, they're submerged. That's pretty much the gist of it. And after that, you give them a shake a few times a week. This will count as the first shake of the week. Perfect. Now, let it sit do its thing and gotta go wash alcohol off of my hand. There's your first gift idea. Feely, on to you. So another gift that you can give maybe that more hobbity friend of yours or even, you know, give to the hobbit within yourself is obviously something edible. And what is great about these is they're not only simple, but you can make them very quickly with very little ingredients, a lot of ingredients that you probably already have at home. And this recipe uses almonds. You don't have to use almonds. You could use other nuts. Um, and you know, if you're more environmental, environmentally friendly, like an elf, then you probably wouldn't use almonds, but you know, they taste really good candied and um, hobbits sometimes just can't resist stuff like that. So, Let's get to it. Oh, and by the way, I'm making sugar cinnamon coated almonds. Yeah. Thanks for telling us at long last. It'll be delicious. <laughs> so, all you're gonna need, three cups of almonds, or the nut of your choice. Vanilla. What if you're a nut? So you're gonna need three cups of nuts. Um, again, you could probably use another nut, but you're, we're using almonds for this particular recipe. And because we've had sugar cinnamon almonds at, um, you know, the great um, Shire Dickens Fair, and they're really good, so we kind of want to do a little bit of a mimic. Plus, you know, hobbits, they just, yeah, they love nuts. They love nuts themselves. So anyways, nuts, vanilla, what have we got here? An egg, but you're only gonna need the white. So think of something else good to do with the yolk. 
Like give it to your dog, is what I'm gonna do, because I'm lazy. Or eat it yourself. So, okay, yeah. Then everything else I have pre-prepared here. As you can see inside this nice yellow bowl, if you can see anything at all in this beautifully terrible kitchen lighting of ours, there is a tablespoon of cinnamon, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of granulated sugar, and I believe a teaspoon of salt. And of course, all these exact measurements will be in the description below. So I've got all that in there. And like I said, this recipe is very simple. Any hobbit could do it. Um, and even an elf, let's face it, they get hungry too. Um, all you really do is just mix stuff together, pour it on the nuts and bake them. Let's get started. So the first real step in making this delicious, hobbity, quick, easy gift idea is to whisk together your brown sugar, granulated sugar, cinnamon, and there's some salt in there, you just can't really see them. It's hiding. Just mix all that together and get all those flavors blended so that when the nuts are ready, they get evenly coated in this delicious, delicious substance. Oh my gosh, I just know our house is gonna smell like the best thing in the world when you get cooking. You know, this is a particularly good gift for hobbits because they're always hungry and the nut the nuts got the sugar, the sugar, yeah. the carbs that are gonna satisfy that instant, you yeah. know, blood sugar need of, of food. And then the protein of the nuts will, will actually hold them for a little bit, stabilize. Exactly, and it kind of tricks you into eating a dessert that's kind of healthy. Um, and yeah, what else is great is you can put them in a bag and bring them on an adventure and they could be a great dessert at a picnic. They could be just a great, like Keely said, a great snack um, while you're out on the trail, you know, being a ranger if you, you're not actually giving this to a hobbit, uh, if you're giving this to like a ranger friend. But again, I'm being judgmental. Hobbits like adventures too. So anyways. Especially the toques. Yeah. Especially if you have some friends in Tukeboro or something. So no, the next. No, tookish hobbits. I know. But they're from there. I Maybe guess. it breeds them. Is Pippin from Tootboro? I think. I should know this. So should I. I love you Pippin. should. You're the one obsessed with Pippin. I know. Okay, so then your next step is you're going to put the egg white. Ha, huh, Mischief. I'm going to put this egg white into this bowl. You want to watch me do it? Oh, she does. You want to watch? So we're going to crack and hope we don't spill it everywhere. And somehow I'm going to try to separate. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay. Never really... Oh, you, you toss it back and forth, not toss yeah, it. Yeah, you toss forward. it back and forth. I know how to do this. I know. Yep, yep, I think he's about done. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this little guy off to the side. And wash my hands real quick. Be right back. Missy, you're not going to get that egg yolk. It might give you diarrhea. That's true. You have a sensitive tummy. Be wary of that if you do what I told you to do, which probably isn't smart. Missy, you're a very good girl, Mischief. Mm -hmm. So, as you can tell from our wonderful life with this little Mischief here, she's a very vocal, very wild, very passionate woman, and sometimes it's hard to get things done around her. However, she's such a hobbit that if we're in here, you know, cooking and stuff, she likes to just sit and watch and imagine eating it. Do you want to help me finish making these? Do you want to help me, little hobbit? Make me. Want to help me make me? Um, help me. Help. I can't talk. Help me make some nuts for some hobbits. Yeah. I think Missy, so. you're not Peppa Pig. You're Papa Pig. Yeah. You're a little Papa Pig. <laughs> yeah. You're. The next step is getting your vanilla. Huh, Mischief? A teaspoon of vanilla. Pouring it in the bowl there, and then you put your egg white in there as well. It's not that much liquid, but what you're going to do is try to get it kind of frothy. And know that even if you're, you know, a hobbit with some hand problems like I have, it may be a bit difficult because of the whisking, but... Oh, do you need me to do it? There's not too much to do. Sure. Alright, Keely's taking over. Hey everyone. It's me, Feely. I'm in the middle of my recipe about how to make some candied almonds. I'm just whisking the egg whites until they're frothy. They're not frothy yet. Do you, um, you know how you can tell? Do you know how you can tell that I'm Feely? 
Because I, nice. I take photos. I'm a photographer. Is that coffee? I think it's getting Oh, that looks coffee. It's getting it. It's getting it. You know, that's Keely. You can tell that's Keely because she writes books. Yeah, I love my books. Keely doesn't talk like that. Fine, and I talk like this and I'm singing. I just know I did that because I imagined I was driving. <laughs> I think that looks good. Feely, get out of here. <laughs> Woo! That was hard work. So, next step is you take your beautiful almonds. You just. Oh, she wants them. She's wiggling her tail. Yeah. You just dump them. Then, pause, pause, pause. Get a spatch, a good old spatula, and some nice and coat the almonds. Now, I assume this is to allow the sugar mixture to stick better. Oh, look how glossy they are. Oh, they that is so a piece good. of plastic. What? From a shirt, like a new tag. That um, is not in the ingredients. How did that get in there? Did it come in the store like that? What's that? Oh, it's just a weird almond. What? Hey, you did that? That never happened. Seriously, what the heck? My shirt is definitely not new. All right, yeah, you've so. You've had shirt forever. All right. Moving on. Oh, that smells good. You've had that shirt like as long as we've been doing Happy Hop and all those. All right, so your next step after you've evenly coated the nuts and they're all beautiful and glossy like that. Oh, shiny too. Dude, I think Smaug is even gonna dig these. So, and if you're giving gifts to Smaug, good on you, good on you. Because everyone needs a little bit of cheer at this time of year. Anyways. Pour them into the mixture. And at this point in time, um, make sure that your oven is also preheated to 250. And let's get a little bit of all that juice out. Cause you know, this, I think this juice- Did you just do something it. naughty? Did you just try to steal something off the counter? And we didn't scold Mr. you? Mr. has an absolute love for butter. Now there is no butter in this recipe, but you can always be hopeful. So now, Gonna, you know, just fold them around. Wow. Evenly coat these beauties. Yep, and that egg white, oh gosh. That egg white is, oh my God, I'm sorry. I can't finish talking, just smell that. Smell that. Oh, it smells delicious. It smells oh, like Christmas. Oh, it does. Now this it's is not the only of the season. a gift for others, but it is a gift to yourself and your whole hobbit hole because you will give them the smells of the season. Yeah, Missy. With a good reason of a gift for another or a brother. And this is not going to be a musical like before, unless dwarves come to the door. All right, so here we go. Evenly coated, beautiful. Well done, Feely. I'm impressed with you. All right. Did you just congratulate yourself or were you congratulating me as you? I'm not sure. So now folks, I'm just gonna kind of evenly pour them on the pan and I will do that oh, more evenly in a minute. Sorry, that was my finger. Yeah, Feely's done like that. I mean, Feely. All right, oh my gosh. Yes! Boy. Yeah, Can these are- Make sure it all bakes on. Wait, oh no, they're still gonna stick together. Do you think? That's why you stir them every 15 minutes. Oh, that's right. Thanks, Keely. That's an important part of the recipe is these cook for, I think like 45 minutes and you have to stir them around with a spatula yeah, every 15 minutes, probably. So yeah, that doesn't happen. So, so you're not me and they, you pull them out after 45 minutes and you're like, <laughs> you have to actually read the directions. What are you looking at the ground for? All like right, silly Willy. I would say these are probably as separate as I'm gonna get them right now. This sheet is not that big. And I'm sure some people are watching right now that are like experts at doing this kind of thing. Um, they're probably gonna make fun of me. I'm just kind of stabbing these as I'm going. Ew. All right, so throw them in there and 
they'll see me in 15 minutes. What temperature minutes. is the oven? 250 degrees. Whoa, mischief, stay away. Yeah, Missy, no, no, no. Missy, no, no, that's hot. See ya. 15. So every 15 minutes, give it a nice stir. And these, I think, are getting close to done. I wish I could tell you how to know if they're totally done, other than the time. And I don't even know if this is, quote, stirring them. But I'm just kind of moving them around so they don't get too stuck to each other. Eh, you know. <laughs> Hopefully that's good. <laughs> The final gift idea that I'm going to show you how to make is decorated candles. I have these festive candles that <clears throat> I may or may not have found at the Matham store. I may or may not have an issue with going to the Matham store. Keely, wait, Keely, Keely! I keep her in red so that I know where she is at this Matham store. So many Mathams, so little time. So that way I don't lose her. Look, I'm, I'm getting stuff for crafts and a bunch of stuff that I don't need. Where, where are they? Did you hide them from me? No, no, no Keely, I promise. This is uh, good. These, these go on the candles. Green, green clashes with red in a good way. And From they jingle. Year. Yeah, they're bells. they're bells. They've got bells here. Yeah. Okay, Keely, I understand that. Yeah. And bleach. You don't need that. Keely. Keely! Keely! Oh my god! What? What do you, what do you have? Every, you have everything? You left me unattended and there I had an incident. I had an incident. Keely, this is why I know I have a you problem. Can't be trusted in the Matham store. I know. I know. But anyway, these candles aren't they beautiful? They're only a dollar each. The first thing you're gonna want to do when you're decorating your candle to give to a friend or loved one is trim the wick. Now, of course, the recipient could do this, but it's always nice to do it for them. Because if you see me like that's really long, the longer the wick, the more smoke and soot is gonna come out of your candle and that's gross and carcinogenic and all kinds of things. So, trim the wick and do this after you burn a candle for a while too. You should never have it more than a quarter inch. It's a little bit longer than a quarter inch, but you know, I can only reach in so far into that. And of course, there's also a lot of debate over if wax candles are safe or not and the fact of the matter is, there just isn't much scientific evidence to support it either way. However, they are a great source of light when the power goes out. And these tall pillar candles, they glow for hours and hours and hours and hours. They'll, they'll burn longer than 24 hours. That's why this is really good for dwarves. Because dwarves spend a lot of time in the dark and in dark places. And personally, I think it's a good gift idea for humans too, for men, because oftentimes we're, you know, if we're in the dark, we're going to kind of, for, excuse me, not we, I'm not trying to identify with any race in particular, but if hum men are in the dark, they might get kind of upset. Just like Shadow here. Is Shadow in the dark? She's a shadow. Shadow, come here. Come tell me your problems. Is it because you want a candle? know her problems. <laughs> so folks, I've got lots of different ideas for how to decorate these candles, and I haven't, as you can see, actually done it yet. <clears throat> like I said, I may or may not have gone to the Matham store, may or may not have gotten an item or two to craft with,
Stone for ten minutes in the math of dropping what happened. Oh, we needed all this. We needed it. We, we really? needed all this. We needed it. Oh, where else can you find this plaid ribbon for only one dwarven coin? Yeah. And you're gonna use all these for the crafts for the episode, right? Little bird. Or something. If you don't have a point for it, don't buy it. I thought that's what we talked about. Make a point. That's mine! My own! Ah! Including... Not that. Including this beautiful plaid ribbon. I don't really know what I was thinking. Red on red? Well, actually that looks okay. Yeah, that could look okay. See, this is the fun part about crafting. You just have to be relaxed and let the flow go. Go with the flow. How do you recommend picking out things that will work? Even if you don't know exactly how you're gonna use them. Okay, well that's what I tried to do. Maybe I was very unsuccessful, I don't know. That's what I tried to do and I knew I have red candles. What goes good with red? My first thought was green, but then, so I got these green bells. These are very festive. But then I also saw these beautiful white ribbons. And look, just a simple thing like that, that looks very elegant. And there you go, you have a gift. All you did was scotch tape on or glue on a ribbon. And same with this ribbon. That's very beautiful as well. But maybe you want to do something a little more festive. And um, so uh, oh, to answer your question, whoever you are behind the camera, not feely. Alindu Sugapa. Alindu Sugapa. Uh, Sugapa. Um, Sugapa. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I was trying to problem solve while I was at the Matham store, and make sure that I only was making purchases directly for this craft, and that I, because otherwise I go it's only a dollar at the math I'm store and I just overload and then I come home and I've got all this stuff and I'm like, none of that worked like this. I come home and I'm like, why did I do that? I like that. But yeah, it looks okay. It looks okay. Um, so here's another fun thing from the math I'm store. This beautiful tinsel thing. What do they even call it? Tinsel garland. Look at this. If you don't have much time and you want to do this craft, wrap it around the base. Voila. Look at that. How does it stick? Um... You would probably use glue. You could use hot glue for that. You would probably have to use hot glue for that. I don't have my hot glue gun ready. What's the difference between using hot glue and just glue? Hot glue is, I like to look at it as basically melted plastic and you're just putting it on and there's gonna be little strings coming off and those are annoying. Other glues, you have to wait until they dry. But I am not gluing anything yet. I'm looking at my options. Keep an open mind, be flexible, be creative. Let your imagination wander. So this is actually what I was looking for at the Matham store because I like to go for more natural looks. I would do this with a real plant, but then they get dried out and I don't know what I'm going to be giving these away and then the needles come off. Turned out Mama Hobbit already had some of this from the Matham store. See, look at that. That looks nice. That looks really nice. That's another option. You could combine the two. Have that be an option. And put, I'm running out of hands. And put the nice ribbon. And right here, some Douglas fir pine cones that I collected. You could put that on there, or you could put it down at the base. So, this is where planning ahead really comes in handy. I was in the Sierra Nevada Mountains several years ago in the summer when I found these, what appear to be little baby pine cones and I started collecting them off the forest floor because I thought these would be perfect for Christmas gifts because they do look like little miniature pine cones they're actually um, I guess you could call them cones from an alder tree which is a riparian tree and um, they are very nice for crafts because they're small I'm trying to find a exemplary stem here. Alright, here's a nice threesome. Never mind, he just committed suicide. Um, let's take, no, that one's gone too. Okay, we're gonna find one. Alright, 
that one's kind of weird to see him. I don't know, he's got a weird hairdo. But you could take something like this, glue it on. Hmm. It looks very festive. If the Douglas fir cone's a little too big. So you have a lot of options. Here's one solo. Looks cute solo. And uh, another thing I got at the Matham shop that I didn't really mean to get was this. Oh gosh, his beak's coming off. <laughs> <laughs> How do you expect yourself to look if you were stuffed in a plastic bag at the Matham shop? I, and this was the nicest one there. Okay, he's like, not real, by the way. I have to say, I was trying to buy a picture frame at the Matham shop, and literally all ten of them were broken. I thought I found the uh, one that wasn't broken, and when I went to the cashier person, I went, oh, never mind, actually, I don't want that, because I see that it's broken. And she said, do you want to go back and grab another one? And I just stared, because I didn't have the heart to tell her, no, everything in your store is broken. That's not that true. There's, okay, not everything, but all that type of merchandise. And it happened in shipping. Like, someone didn't go through and break it. That was an accident. Or so, someone was like, Christmas presents, ah, ah. Someone hates holidays. No, it was like violently searching. No, I don't think so. This is, the, unless it was a troll. It yeah. would have had to been a big, strong troll. So, I just, I just said, no, I don't want another one. And yes, I want to save that dollar at the Matham store, but because they're Mathams, maybe that's exactly how somebody wants them. I just didn't. All right, so let's get crafting. Ding, 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 ding. Sorry, I'm doing Lotro crafting no, hall sound. We're not in the crafting hall. <laughs> okay, so this is, has a wire inside. So the easiest way to get it to go around it is to just do that and there. Do it again. What, what was it? I just bent the wire down. Now I just have to cut this. I don't know if my fist scars are strong enough. Oh, there's gonna be little dead things. Ah! This is where, if you were a dwarf, it would come in handy. I need wire cutters or something. I'll be right back. I have a pocket knife with some. That worked. So you now, used wire cutters. I used wire cutters because there's wire in there, but now I've got all this debris here. It's okay. Debris? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So now I decide what am I gonna do next? I don't like this sticker there. Does that look cool? <laughs> Maybe he wants to come out of his plastic prison. Release him from the cellophane. Do what Radagast would do. Let him live on your head. Oh. Apparently that's just how he was made. He's pretty. Could be a sheep. Yeah, look oh, at that. Now it's a, that's now it's a holiday display. That's a friggin' that $30. is a I'm gonna get rich! secure these items somehow. <laughs> he has a handy little clip. Look. You're aware that earlier you were shaming him and saying he was pointless. Now all of a sudden he made you a millionaire. How often does this happen? That happens to geniuses all the time. They're like, 
like, this is stupid, I can't do anything with this, and then all of a sudden, the thing they thought was pointless, it gets them rich. Look, he's clipped on, he's ready to go, and he just needs his pine cone. <laughs> look at it, look at it just sitting there. Dang! <laughs> that is something nice. Can you add this? Oh, oh that, wow. <laughs> so, here's my tip, or uh, actually more of a confession. If you were my friend, and I had a bunch of these different candles, and this is obviously the only one I could do like that, because like we've revealed, I only have one cardinal. Styrofoam cardinal from the bathroom store. Well, I would save this one for one of two people. Someone I really, really liked, or someone who I knew would appreciate it. Because don't you hate it when you get make a gift, or you give a gift, and the person's just like, thanks. Like, they didn't even look at it, they didn't appreciate it, they didn't do anything. And our mama hobbit raised us that you never do anything expecting anything else in return. And so, I try to always stay hold, hold true to that. But, I would give this to someone else who likes to create things, or to someone I really liked. And I'd give the ugly ones to the people I liked the least. <laughs> it's just the truth. But they probably wouldn't really be ugly. I would just think that they were ugly and I'd or someone who I knew would just go Thanks. Not a million dollar card. No, I wouldn't give them the million dollar Christmas display. No, I want a million dollar card. No. This there you go, for example, I would give this to Feely. <gasps> I'm not Spoiler. sure how I would get the pine cone. I could glue that on right there. I could glue that. Were there different colors? Of birds? Yeah. Maybe. Because if there were, you could make this as a gift that could keep on giving all year, yeah, Clark. Yeah, swap out the birds. And then it doesn't have to be a Christmas. Even more of a million dollar idea. Okay, well, since I've decided I'm making this for my sister, and you all just saw it happen, <gasps> here comes the tacky glue. This is how official we are. <laughs> here comes the tacky glue. Come on. Okay, it just exploded on the bottom cone. I can't see anything. Well, nothing's happening yet, so there's, you're not missing anything. That takes a really long time to come out. Yeah, it's very viscous. Oh, come on, Jackie. Glue, we're on. Being filled. I'll come back. Please do. It's here. As soon as she turned it off, it's here. It's here, everyone. It's here. All right, there's your tacky glue. So you want to make sure to get the tacky glue that dries clear. Yeah. Or just probably this a better be, type of this glue. This could be a million dollar mistake. What are you doing? Putting it in the precise, correct location. Precise. Otherwise, this isn't a million dollar display. It's only a... It's only a three dollar display. Was he a dollar? No, actually, the Douglas fir cone was free. <laughs> Though, a tree had to make it, and that tree went through a lot of work. Well, this is gonna take quite some time to dry. But the nice thing is, it's the only part that has to dry. Million dollar cardinal in the in the wire are just gonna stay put, right? Mm -hmm. The cardinal got clipped in. Will the wire come undone eventually? Well, after the seas have fallen and the sun has died, all things fade in time. But I mean, if you lift up the candle, aren't you just gonna leave everything behind? Not this pine cone. This is a million dollar item. Why are you saying such things? But is the wire of the wreath glued to the candle? No. Then if you pick up the candle, everything's gonna stay. No, I think I did pick it up and it didn't. See? Look. Okay. You're making me ruin it. You're not gonna get this after all. Well, I just wanna make sure so that they don't just put it on and think they're done and then get. Who's they? The people. Oh! 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 I should have used hot glue. <laughs> I ruined my million dollar display. <laughs> I'm just trying to use gravity. Can you hear me? Can't 
Hand me a tissue. In the water, in the water. <laughs> I can fix this. I can fix this. Wipe it off. It was never there. Shouldn't you take the tags off first? You can't get those off. I've tried. Those aren't the price tags, though. They're the warning, don't burn yourself up tags. I guess I didn't need the water. <laughs> See, like I said, be creative, go with the flow, make mistakes. It's <laughs> all my fault, I pushed you into moving it. <laughs> but what if you put him in the middle and he's like floating? In the middle of that? Yeah, in the he middle can. of the candle. I can still hot glue this on. I just have to wait for this glue to dry, then I can hot glue it. Okay. So while we're waiting for that glue to dry so that I could then use a different type of glue, I'm going to decorate another candle with this ribbon. So I'm going to measure it out, okay, about after the word of love. I'm going to cut it. Okay, hopefully your scissors are sharper. Then I'm going to use a trick. Clear scotch tape. Because I just had an incident with glue. Here's my other trick. See this ugly side of the candle? You know it's the ugly side because that's where the warning label is. Nobody wants to look at that side. When you put your candle to display, you're not going to look at that side. Put the clear tape there. Look, it's like, it's gone. It's basically gone. Get another piece ready. Rotate it around. Yeah, that's pretty even. Pull it snug. Seal it with more clear tape. Look at that. That's classy right there. That might not be a million dollars, but that's at least a thousand. <laughs> Add this? <gasps> You're gonna give Marshall's ideas. Stop doing this. Marshall's? One. Yeah. The only thing is, I'm not sure how to make this go. I guess I'll use the hot glue gun for that. When it's ready, it's heating up. This is just kind of... Crafting can be kind of messy. That's why if you're really cool, you have a crafting room. That's a lie. <laughs> those don't exist. I've heard of those. Those are only myths. I make those for my sims. Yeah, well, your sims are rich. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> they always have been. Since the sims won. Ca Clapsis. That was right, the, first, that was the cheat first cheat in sims won. This is cheap. It's like... <laughs> it's from. It's not very vibrant. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, but you're not looking at it up close. Look at it up close. It's like. It's so good. See, even Mischief agrees. Okay. Same with this. Measure it out. Cut it. Scotch tape it. Look. This is a quick and easy idea, okay? So if you don't have a lot of time, your relatives are coming, you don't really like them, so you didn't get them much of anything because they're the Sackville Bagginses. Hopefully your relatives aren't the Sackville Bagginses, but you never know. But this is a nice present. This is... well, yeah, but I'm saying, like, if you didn't want to... I always have these fantasies of setting aside hours to do crafting and things like that, and it never happens. It's always some frenzied rush where I'm cursing and sweating and, like, <laughs> trying to make things work and nothing goes right. It's true. True. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Then this is something that you can make by hand and look, the scotch tape, it doesn't take away. Sure, like I said, this one here is probably a hundred dollar item. You said than... a thousand earlier. No, that one was a thousand. That one's the million. It's going to be a million. Those are nice. Okay, so look. Dang, you're good. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> what? Audience. You can add this. Alright. I'm gonna add that. I can and I will. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm... I'm... Yeah. You're welcome! So, more scotch tape. What happens to the scotch tape when it gets heated by the candle flame? Not quite sure. It might just detach. I was wondering about the million dollar cardinal if he got hot. Well... He'll find out, like, you'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. And by then, you won't- you'll just be over looking at it. Okay. There. There. Look at that. 
Now, they sell. I'm gonna pop out a little bell. And where are my cones? I can't wait to burn my million dollar cardinal. And you know how I mean that. Don't burn the cardinal. That's what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna use gravity and I'm gonna use tacky glue. <laughs> All right, it's gonna lay like that. Put some glue there. It's quite a lot. Acorns, tre uh, cones from other trees would also look very nice on something like There's, this. The sky's the limit, really, as far as you can pluck out of nature for this kind of craft. Though, let's be... A little more glue? Let, let's be... Uh, I mean, alcohol. we're elves, so we don't just, like, rip off of a tree. It's we what's are already, not elves. We do not no. identify with any particular I'm just saying, we don't just we rip... Play we don't just rip things off of trees. They're already on the ground. That's true. This is called that's foraging. What I was, yeah, that's what Okay, I was. see? Imagine this standing up. I'm not going to stand up because it's going to fall because the glue's wet. I'm going to let that dry overnight. Move your hands. If you imagine that standing up, which hopefully I'll film it before I edit this episode, that's pretty magnificent. That's like a... It just went from a $100 to a $300 item. No, not two. Three. <gasps> Handmade by two. Keely the Pick Dwarf. Pick number two, my lord. We'll have an auction of these <laughs> candles at some point. You guys, you, you know, gotta be ready. Gotta <laughs> have your coins ready. Three hundred, <laughs> one thousand, one million! Fund Happy Hobbit for a lifetime! <laughs> <laughs> Which actually would legitimately be very cool. True. We've never been funded in any way, shape, or form. Alright, let's see. The glue. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's time! I'm testing it first. I'm not just going to sacrifice our cardinal. I'm going to test it on this. So I'm going to go to the ugly side again. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm under a lot of pressure. <laughs> I'm just putting it... Look at me, I'm insane. I'm insane. I'm just covering it with glue. I'm out of control. Ah! Sticking ah! everything! Ah! 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 Are you burned? No, but it's gonna burn my carpet, but I can't look! Grab, 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 grab it! I got it. <laughs> this is why people have crafting rooms! What? With like some woodproof, heatproof floors? Look, it's stuck on there. La la la! <laughs> thousand bucks, folks! Thousand bucks! At the auction hall. <laughs> Want to make it a thousand three hundred? Add a jingle. Cause then you know when your grandma comes by and she goes, "Oh, you made this so great, but it doesn't jingle." <laughs> you can add this. No, that looks stupid. That looks like a nose. That's I'm so not doing dumb. That. I'm not doing that. That D class is it. That makes it come from Frog Morton. What if Grandma Tookboro comes and wants to There's jingle? There's no Tookboro! What is with you and Tookboro today? Oh my god, you're so stupid! Have you ever looked at the map on Latro? <laughs> yeah, but there's no- that's not the family's name! That's where they come I from! I know that! A girl, like a little rabbit! Oh, no, 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 no. I know that! Did you know that Bag End was real? What's that mean? It was like a place in England where Tolkien came from. It was some place- some place was actually named Bag End. I had no idea. I thought he made it up. I always thought it was a really weird that is name. Weird. Think about what the name means. The end of a I know, bag. that's why I was always confused. I was like, so Bilbo lives in a lunch sack? And, and like, <laughs> he's the crumbs at the, the bottom. bottom. Yeah, but it's a real place. Okay. <laughs> I smell that hot glue, and you know what it makes me think of? Crafts when we were little. What about crafts now? No. <laughs> okay. Here's the moment. He's still got a little bit of wet glue. There's a kind of a scuff mark there from where my failed attempt previously. Gosh. Oh, relax, relax, relax. Yeah, there's glue, glue in here everywhere. This is where a million dollars from. This is like dwarves making their jewels. So you really think- I tend to hold my breath as I do this, which is bad. I don't know why I do that. So the beginning of this, you said that this would be a good gift for a dwarf. Now, dwarves are people who live underground and I don't really think appreciate trees. So you would think well, it would be safe- source. You think it'd be safe to say to not give the dwarf in your life the million dollar cardinal. No, they like would said, get the other one. Yeah, like I said, the one that you think is- Give that to someone. Because the dwarves couldn't dwarf. even see it anyway. No, and the Gimli would be the kind who would, like I said, take <laughs> the gift to be like, oh, yeah. I mean, that? 
<sighs> Who would appreciate that really good? Really Galadriel? Good. Yeah, I think Galadriel would appreciate that. Celeborn, he's kind of underrated. You Legolas know, he decorates could. decorates their home out of the two of them. Legolas in Lord of the Rings would. I feel like he's a little more sassy okay, in the Hobbit. It's not. on. I like it. Wow! Feely, I could do a dot of glue to secure the cardinal. Yes, you, he needs to be secure. Would you feel okay I with would, that? I would feel way more comfortable if my cardinal was secure. Okay, well then, I might unclip him. <gasps> because if he's gonna be secured that way... To dress him up. Are you sure? I don't know. Oh wait, because then he can't move ever again. Yeah. Well, I mean, it'll just probably break when you pull off. That, yeah, he could be glue, because then he's sitting upright, looking very cheery. I want to pet him. You can pet him once he's yours. I think we're really on to something. I think this is gonna be the longest episode in history. <laughs> this is a quick idea! Quick class. Well, this really would be. If you really had the candles and you just threw the ribbon on, it would be very quick. But if yeah, you're making if you a million dollar card idea. Well, well and I'm saying quick in terms of crafting. Like, this is relatively quick. So Some people make quilts and scrapbooks. Like, really cool stuff. All right, give him a second. Here. If you weren't going insane while you made it like us, you could probably do all of these in like 15 minutes. Or if you planned it out better. There's like pieces of glue. See, I try to be, again, keeping it classy. You take these pieces of the glue gun string and pull them off. You don't, you don't give them people to people with the glue gun string. That's just low. That says, I cared enough to make this, but I didn't care enough to make it right. You don't want to send that message to most people. Look at that. Wow. So, Feely, what are you feeling? Do you want a ribbon? I don't know. A bell? I, I know bell, unless it was down by the pine cone or in between cardinal and pine cone. It's kind of hard to visualize. It's going to blend in with the green. Don't no. do it. Don't no. do it. What about this? <laughs> And it's like it's your wedding day. Mm-mm. <laughs> That's... I wouldn't have something that boring at my wedding. But do, do you like this for a candle? I mean, it's okay. Okay, she doesn't. Like, it's not... I was gonna like say, it. I kind of like the idea of just the cardinal and the cone. Okay. It's more natural feeling that way. Okay. It's sold! Sold! Sorry, folks, at the Happy Hobbit auction, that One gone. million dollars! That one's gone, Here folks. you go! Those are nail Christmas nail decals that we can't figure out how to put on, so we haven't put them on yet. Can someone help us? They don't come off. Okay, last one. Real quick. Real quick in the longest episode in Happy Hobbit history. If you've stopped watching by now, that's okay. But if you've stopped watching, you wouldn't have got that message. But there are some people who maybe have really missed this type of insanity because we don't make episodes as often as we want to. True. So maybe this is helping their mental health. Ooh, there. okay, I see. There. Without Simple. the reen. I like it better. Does he want a nose? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. That's just Ooh, weird. Ooh, bells all the way around the bottom would be a cool idea as well. Glued all the way to the bottom so then grandma can give it a nice shake. Yeah, but sometimes when the when the metal's touching it, it silences the bell. Like, listen. A pine nice. cone would look nice there. A big or a little? I, I was thinking Here's little. Here's a Douglas fir. Redwood little redwood cones would also look nice on these. Yeah, but most people don't. They look like that. They're like hanging out. And then here's their kids. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, that would be perfect. What if you slid them under the ribbon and you don't have to do any gluing at all? Oh my gosh, she's a genius. She's a genius. That's why she gets the million dollar cardinal. I'm sorry, I have to do this out of frame. Yeah, so I'm just gonna tell you, I keep getting denied from being in craft fairs, and now I know why. I'm a threat to the other vendors. Okay, here was Feely's genius idea. Loosened it up a little. Come on. Oh no, don't do this to me. I'm on TV. It's a wedding day. Okay. Slide it in. No glue. Ooh! This one will be named Feely's No Glue Candle. <laughs> Look at that. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. So easy peasy, Bob the Brain can do it. And 
Well, imagine this one standing up. That's still way too wet. Look at this nice variety. Boom, okay. baby. If I was giving all these away and I had to have someone who I didn't like so much to give one to, it would be hard to pick which one I would give to that dwarf. So, like, out of the seven dwarves? Maybe, maybe yours. Just because the amount of effort it took to make it was so minimal compared to the others. Yeah. That was, a, that was just a tape and slide and glide. Yep, that was tape and slide and glide. All right, well. Woo! There's your quick and easy <laughs> candle decorations. Boy, after all this sitting and crafting, I'm gonna have to go for a walk tomorrow. Yeah, that probably is a good idea. We should. Sounds nice. Winter walks are also an easy peasy, wonderful holiday Invite event. someone on one. It's kind of like a gift. Yeah. It is a gift it because is. you get to spend time with people that you like and give candles to. This is also a great time of year to go for a walk out in a park or in the woods like I am right now. You really never know what you're gonna find. Hang on. What the? Hi, Keely. Hey, what? Just hanging out, you know, keeping an eye on things. What are you doing? I mean, an eye on what? Like orcs? Eh, never know what you're gonna see in these trees. From these trees, in these woods. At least it's not Crick Hollow. At least it's not Crick Hollow indeed. Actually, that's a another great point about why you should always have a gift like these candy nuts on hand. You never know when you're gonna run into someone and it's the holidays and uh... Well hey Ewen. Merry Christmas! Oh, thank you! Hope Look, you like candied almonds. I can devour an entire pound of these and never, never blink an eye. Mmm. Ah. Fuel for the warrior heart. I can't believe this. I know, it's been a while. Of all the people to just find in the woods. Well, it's yeah, look who I found. found. What? Hi. Like, it's been a while. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! <laughs> so, um, did you give her the nuts? Uh, we yeah. all are nuts. <laughs> 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 folks to have pre-made gifts ready because you never know when a friend is gonna jump Show. out of it yeah <laughs> that way it rhymes <laughs> well from feely and keely and awen and mischief and shadow <laughs> we wish you a very merry, merry christmas, christmas and a happy new year oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then we just and then that's just the ending is her being yeah. chased off. That's just our killing move. This okay. Wait, wait, wait. You're no. supposed to be busy. Up here, darling. Up here. You recording? Yep. Okay. Are you done with your burp? Yo. Yeah. <laughs> they are good. They are! <laughs> I'm keeping these, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> my god, you look so epic with the sun. I have to take a picture with my phone. You hit the camera? Mm -hmm. What's she getting to be quiet so that we could film? Wait, sorry, I'm checking. Mischief, what are you getting? So, she's getting a peanut butter covered carrot. Two of her favorite things. Are you? Okay. No, 
No, you bite it. Take it to her bed. There you go. Okay, now be occupied, child. So the first step is to whisk together your Wait, cinnamon. We have to take the bag away from her. It's just gonna tinkle. Hold on. Mr. <laughs> we named you too well. Yes. You live up to it at every second. Hold on to the next. Hey, come on, brother. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone gets that reference, you get a point. Write it in the comments. <laughs> I'm actually gonna top it off. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's way too much. I didn't mean to do that. So, folks at home, do this on a proper cooking surface. <laughs> there. The first thing you do, these are kind of really hard. And this this part's also really hard. <laughs> they, like they are not fecal matter. <gasps> Action! Are my Santas jiggling? Yeah. I feel like they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's dancing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your arm looks giant because I only see one. I don't know, I'm, I'm being mean. This first... <laughs> This first gift idea is great for that elf in your life. Use me. Let's start again. Hey. <laughs> Why are you making that horrible face? Wait, because you didn't mess up. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. You I said one, like, of, the things one of the things I'm showing you right now, but I'm showing you one thing right now. Yeah, one of the things I'm showing you right now. But it goes me, you, me. They don't know that. <laughs> yeah, they do. It's going to be in the editing. <laughs> okay, anyway. Ooh, that candle. Is it a watermelon? <laughs> I just saw something. It was what? either a dust floating by or a piece of my own hair. I thought you were looking at your snowman that were like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at my snowman. No, I thought you were looking at them doing that. I can't see them! No matter how high I look, I can't see them. Oh, they see you. Yeah, I know. 